He's the sweetest gem you'll ever meet down on Beach City, and while he's been through a lot, his pure heart hasn't changed a bit. Hi, I'm Akeem with Channel Frederator, and this is 30 Facts About Steven from Steven Universe. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. <laughs> Now, as you may know by now, Rebecca Sugar's younger brother, Steven Sugar, inspired the main character of the show, Steven Universe. Steven is the only gem to ever have been born through biological reproductive means, technically making him a new kind of life form altogether. When Steven was a baby, he needed to let his gem breathe, something that he no longer needs to do. Babies all grown up. Our sweet little boy even polishes his gemstone. This trait could be a nod to the non-canon episode, Say Uncle, when Uncle grandpa told him to clean your gym at least twice a year. Good morning. Man, I miss those good mornings. Steven's hair bears much resemblance to a rose. This design detail is more prevalent in his Funko Pop figure than in the cartoon. In the episode Joyride, Steven reveals that he is uncomfortable talking about rose quartz with the other crystal gems because he worries that they will blame him for taking rose quartz from them. We all know deep within ourselves that this is indeed a not the case. Steven's last name would have been DeMeo if Greg hadn't changed his name to Universe years before Steven was born. Steven thinks DeMeo is a lot cooler than Universe, but on what planet did he get that idea? See what I did there? Steven is the only character who has appeared in every single episode so far. He has also cried more than any other character in the series. In season four, he cries Blue Diamond's tears. He can also see through her eyes in his dreams. This relates to his power of astral projection. In season 3's episode, The New Lars, Steven can project his mind into Lars's body. In Kiki's pizza delivery service, he can enter Kiki's dreams. He can also float, summon Rose's shield, create a bubble, and fix things with his spit, like gems or Connie's eyesight. <laughs> if you told me a loogie would fix my eyesight, eh. You know what? You could keep your 2020 vision. Steven's healing spit can even give things life. In season three, he creates sentient watermelons, and in season four, revives Lars. And let's not forget about little old pumpkin. Oh, that adorable pumpkin. From the events of Jailbreak, it's implied that Steven is relatively immune to anti gem technology because he's half human. Steven has been 14 years old since season two's episode, Steven's Birthday. But he has never attended school. In fact, the gems homeschooled him. Matt Burnett and Rebecca Sugar have described Steven as a savant when it comes to music. He plays a ukulele and wrote the show's theme song himself. That's right, a fictional character wrote a theme song. He also has perfect pitch. Steven likes video games. He owns a Nintendo 64 and Nintendo GameCube and keeps a Game Boy in his bathroom. Copies of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and Animal Crossing often make appearances in his room. So has Manga. A volume of the Sailor Moon manga rests on Steven's nightstand in Season 1's episode, House Guest. She is the one called Sailor Moon, and he is the one called Steven Yu. When Steven is showing Hollow Pearl how to organize his messes in Steven the Sword Fighter, he places three toys on a shelf. The animal looks like Pikachu from Pokemon, the humanoid resembles Guitaru Man from the game of the same name, and the miscellaneous figure is apparently the internet meme sensation himself, Sainik the Hedgehog. Not to be confused with another blue hedgehog we all know and love. Steven's birthday is August 15th, the same day Steven Sugar was born. Coincidentally, this means that Steven Universe's birthstone is Peridot, who is the quirkiest friend anyone could ever ask for. The fusion of Steven and Connie Stevani does not have a specified gender. Stevani uses gender-neutral pronouns such as they and them. Because Stevani is comprised of two physical beings rather than full gems, their appearance is continuously changing depending on what either Steven or Connie are wearing. According to Rebecca Sugar, Stevani is a metaphor for all the terrifying firsts in a first relationship and what it feels like to hit puberty and suddenly find yourself with the body of an adult. How quickly that happens, how it feels to have new power over people, or to find yourself objectified suddenly. All for seemingly no reason since you're still just you. Unlike other crystal gems, it seems that Steven doesn't need to dance to fuse with others. He only needs physical contact. Viewers see this in two different battles with Jasper. When forming Stevani, 
Connie, Stephen and Connie merely run at Jasper hand in hand and are shocked to find they fused. The same can be said when Stephen and Amethyst form smoky quartz by just hugging. In an interview, Rebecca Sugar said that of all the gems, Pearl is the one Stephen knows about the least. Stephen is meant to represent the codependent stage of human emotional development. The rest of the crystal gems represent the other stages. Amethyst as counter dependence, Pearl is group dependence, and Garnet is dependence. Zach Cowson is the voice of Steven and won a Behind the Voice Actor Award for Best Male Vocal Performance by a Child in 2014. When asked who would play Steven in a live-action Steven Universe project, Rebecca Sugar said she would cast Zach Callison, saying, Zach is the only Steven that is truly Steven. I can't imagine anyone else doing that voice. Huh. Surprised she didn't say her brother, Steven Sugar. But you know what? I can totally rape to that. I'm Akeem, and thanks for watching 30 Facts About Steven from Steven Universe. What's your favorite Steven? moment. Comment down below and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to become part of our notification squad. If you want to see more videos like this one, consider supporting our Patreon, where we post sneak peeks at new pilots, behind the scene footage, extended creator interviews, and more. And always remember guys, Frederator loves you.